who's to blame for a deadly ambulance crash in June? We told you the story of Kristen Key. She was behind the wheel of an ambulance when it wrecked, killing her passenger. She was charged with vehicular homicide and failure to maintain lane. James Torres joins us now to tell us what the attorney and the victim's family had to say tonight. James. Josh, Kristen Keith pled guilty to the failure to maintain charge, but she the charge for the vehicular homicide was actually dropped today. The attorney for the victim's family says the family thinks that the ambulance company might be the one to blame. Honestly, first question really goes through my mind. Uh, are they really going to wreck with me in there? Kristen Keys was taking Tony Patterson to the hospital and they never made it. She fell asleep at the wheel, flipping the vehicle on its side and killing Patterson. Bradley Pratt represents Patterson's widow. The family believes that there's more to this story than just a horrible mistake by Miss Keys. I think that the bigger picture is the types of pressure that drivers like Miss Keys are put under. Um, those pressures are um, something that's bigger than more than just one incident. Keys attorney McCracken Poston released a statement saying, in part, Due to the fact the driver was five weeks pregnant at the time of the accident, she had been avoiding caffeinated drinks, which had in other times served the purpose of keeping the driver alert during long shifts. Pressures related to the amount of hours that drivers are uh, forced to drive, the conditions under which they have to drive, and the screening of whether drivers are in a position to do a difficult and demanding task like this at all hours in the morning. And Pratt says that he has not found any lawsuits like this in court yet. And he's not really sure when the Patterson family might be ready to do so. We did reach out to Puckett EMS tonight uh, for a comment. They said they're going to try to get us in touch with the spokesperson, and we'll let you know when that happens. Reporting live, I'm James Torres, News Channel 9. James, thank you. McCracken Posted tells us Keys had a miscarriage just weeks after that accident. Walker County Commissioner Sheriff.